Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from eCommerce DAO and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can use the 17 track order for your shipments. Now if you're new here, I'm writing a newsletter every single week about how you can improve your e-commerce store, new apps on the market, success stories, just everything about e-commerce for you to grow even further. So if you're interested, you're going to find a link down below in the description, completely for free. I just like to share some knowledge and wisdom there. So let's start now first with the 17 track order, tracking and how we can uh, use it. So when you're going to install it, the first thing that I recommend to do is going to learning center with welcome to 17 track, where it's going to step-by-step -step guide you or what you need to do. So first add the profit careers. So this is something that we're going to start with. Now, when I'm going to be here, Okay, I'm going to add like the express, then we are gonna add our sides here, and we can see them right here, right? So let's start with these two careers. Then you're gonna have Shopify status, automatically push the order shipping status to Shopify. Okay, and Shopify email notification. Then I definitely recommend connecting your PayPal account right here. And uh, then you're going to have the email. I don't really use tags, but if you want to, uh, you can use it too. And language. Now, when we have this and you are going to add the careers, let's go further. And we're going to start with the customizing your tracking page. Customize now. And let's just set up that and then we are going to continue. So right here. Okay, 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 okay. So here, this is the first, um, first page that you would have somewhere uh, like on your website or when someone is going to message you in your chat, like, okay, how is it with my order? You can just send them this link, right? And they're going to write there the tracking number or order number. And you see things here like header, track your order, tracking, right? So here you can, I'm going to remove my camera so you can see everything. Uh, you're going to have the custom text here, order number on the right side, email, phone number, and track. Then you're going to have under tracking on the left side, you're going to find a status description. So tracking info not found, order pending, all of that oh, you can change if you want to, but these are the statuses. So when I'm going to preview, let's see how it looks like. <clears throat> then you can have also the tracking results. Order info, product info, hide keywords, and then you can have the marketing assets. And you can display or no. So this is how the track your order looks like. Now uh, with the marketing assets, you can display the feature, and you would have a, like a product. So for example, this is how uh, the order looks like: ordered, info received, in transit, and a person can see everything here. Product marketing, and this would be. I like the link here for the product if you want to uh, like the marketing assets and then you can have also the product recommendation look at this this is like really cool thing and uh, the product recommendation is a good thing to have so what to recommend you can add it manually or smart algorithm so based on the products in your store this is a good way because it's going to even pay for your mm, it's going to pay for this program that you would have. And not only that, what is a good thing about this, when you're going to have the order tracking, you can make even more money because like I am, like who I am is that I actually track the order during the week because I no, want to know what is happening. When I pay, let's say 20, 30, $40, I just want to check it. And when you're going to recommend me your products, that's a great thing. So if you're going to have like similar products, it's a good thing to 
have them here like recommended for you. Now, when we go further, you can have the styles, the colors that you can change if you want to, uh, to your own advantage, but that's pretty much it. So first we're going to have to track your order when they're going to write, then we're going to have not found, but in not found, you're going to have uh, the marketing assets here, right? Then you're going to have the order pending. So let's preview that how it looks like. It doesn't want us to show it's okay. So this is how it will looks like I will just save it. And then you can have the info received. Alert. In transit. Out of delivery. Delivered. And you see literally everything here how it looks like. So for me, this is like pretty simple and pretty easy how we can customize it. I know it's a little, little bit limited, it's like pre-created for you, what you can do with it, but still I think it's a great a thing to have for your Shopify store. Now when we go even further, um, and when we look here, what we can have is that I will go to set up email notification. After you're going to customize the tracking page, go to set up your email notifications. And here you're going to have like everything is already on and you're going to have the info received or in transit. This is also a good way how we can let know like your order is about to be shipped. Hi, by your name, your order is ready and curl will collect soon and you can track your order. Then you're going to have tracking number, carrier, carrier phone. And what's inside, you can have shipment items, etc. So uh, you can add a columns, you can edit it if you want to add a heading, text, image, even button here, or if you want to always add some kind of like product, like here, or under it. So I would just add it right here. You can add a product. So always trying to cross sell if, if you feel like it, that's the right thing to do. So uh, this is a, another thing that you can have or, or do, and I like it. So then you can have the blocks here that if you want to uh, like the columns, right? It's pretty simple and easy. And body, so you can change the colors and text and everything. So that's about uh, the email. Now, when I go back, I see also, let's say it's going to be in transit or delivered. Again, you would edit a template and right here, you're going to have that your order has been delivered. So you can see that you can change all the text. You can change the button, change the alignment and really play around with it as much as you want. Now, if you can have any questions, guys, let me down in the comments, but for the delivered, I would definitely recommend adding a new product only because it's a good way to uh, like increase your revenue for your store. So yeah, now when we go even further, uh, what we can do and we're going to have already done the email notifications and customer tracking page. We're going to have like the enable protection widget. A value added service protecting orders against loss, delay, and damage. 48 hours payout time limit. Eight regions, custom funded. You can apply for it if you want to, the buyer protection. And then you're gonna choose the plan if you if you like it. So that's pretty much it about the 17 track order and how you can uh, track orders in Shopify. So hope I gave you a little bit of value what you can do with it. But that's pretty much it. Now on the right side, you would have uh, like the transit times, shipments over time, a uh, tracking page. So uh, that's pretty much it. Now when I go here to again this and here, customize tracking page.
and you can turn tracking page into extra conversion touch point so you can have some guides here so uh thank you very much for watching if you can have any questions let me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye